it's Miss Lori. Today for our cooking segment, I wanted to show you how to make my easy chicken parmesan. Uh, I'll show you the ingredients that you'll need. I did a lot of it ahead of time, but I'll show you what you'll need. I actually combined a recipe for a crock pot chicken parmesan recipe, and I just didn't want to have to wait a whole eight hours for it to be done. So I'll show you what you'll need. Um, I, again, I'm combining some of the ingredients for the crock pot version. What you're going to need is, I have about two and a half to three pounds of chicken, thinly sliced chicken breasts. Um, I like, my family likes the thin sliced. Uh, they just get done more qu uh, quicker. You can use regular chicken breasts, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, so again, I'm using two and a half to three pounds. Um, to, I used to bread all of this, I used two eggs. Then I used two teaspoons of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. So what you're going to want to do is I took the, I beat the egg, salt, and pepper together in a, a bowl. It's a little sloppy because I already breaded most of them. So after you do that, you're going to melt a couple pads of butter in a skillet. I already did that. Then you're going to want to saute and get them nice and brown. Uh, so you'll be flipping them when you put them in, the chicken breasts. Then, and it depends, again, how, how big, um, how many pounds that you're using depends on how long to cook them. Uh, these are kind of thin, so I'll probably cook them 20 to 30 minutes. Um, so then you're going to want to not only just saute them, cook them through. Then when they're almost done, you're going to want to use a spaghetti sauce. I like the tomato and basil version. So after you've browned them all nice, you're going to want to put the sauce on top of them and let it cook. And then when it's almost done, you're going to layer it with mozzarella cheese. I have the slices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like I said, I already started melting my butter. So I'm going to, I'm going to get a fork and I'll be right back. So you're going to want to start sauteing them. So I'm just going to arrange them. I'm going to kick it up to about 350, 375 to get it rolling. So, and again, if you want to do this with your kids, the kids can help you bread the chicken and then you can cook it, but it's always good to have a helper in the kitchen. Okay. I'm probably gonna need a little more butter just because I'm cooking so much, but actually I can, Here, let me get the plate out of the way. I'll bring it closer. I'm going to see. I'm just going to add a little more butter. Okay. I've been making this recipe for many, many years. And like I said, I just found this to be a little quicker. The crock pot version is actually very good because it sits in the spaghetti sauce. But for that version, you would want to use regular uh, sized chicken breasts. But for this, you can do thin ones. And I wish you could smell it. It smells very, very good. So I'm going to let it brown a little, and then after I get them browned, 
I'm going to cook them and then I'll cut away and I'll be back then to show you how it looks, the finished product with the sauce, the spaghetti sauce and the cheese. The crock pot recipe called for pizza sauce, but I find if you get any kind of spaghetti sauce, it has a little more flavor. Oh, and I forgot, I don't know if I mentioned, I, I forgot, the breadcrumbs. Um, I used a couple, if I had a guess, I think you just eye it up, about two cups of Italian breadcrumbs. And I had it out to show you. Just either Progresso or the Jewel brand, you know, the off brand is just as good. But I do, for this recipe, I like the Italian breadcrumbs because it gives it a little more spice. So I'm just going to bread the, them and get them nice and brown. And then while I'm doing that, I'll just show you, I saved one chicken, uh, chicken breast thinly sliced. It's a little sloppy because I breaded a whole bunch before I started filming. So you're going to want to take the egg and the salt and the pepper. Like I said, you could measure it or you could just eye it up. So, and then I beat it together. I dip my chicken breast in there and then I coat it in the Italian style breadcrumbs. Okay. And if you could put them all in at the same time, then you're not wondering, wait, what, which chicken breast was, you know, cooked. You, you want them all to pretty much get done at the same time. So, let me get this out of the way. And I have my mozzarella cheese all set to go. Okay. As you can see, they're, they're browning up nice. With my electric fryer, I find sometimes you need to move the pieces just because I think maybe the coils are heat one piece up a little more than the other. So then I'm going to add this one. Okay. And I'm just going to add a little more butter. You can actually do this ahead of time. I don't want to add too much. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to flip them. Okay. So I'm just going to basically be turning them and flipping them, trying to get them to be evenly done. So what I can do is I'll cut away for a little while and we'll be back and I will add the uh, spaghetti sauce and the cheese and then you can see how that looks. So I'll see you in a little while. Bye. Hi everyone. I'm back. It's Miss Lori. Um, if I want to show you how this looks. So what I did was I let them cook about 10 to 15 minutes. Like I said, they were very, very thin, so you don't need much time if they're thin. If you get regular sized chicken breasts, then obviously you'll need to do it a little longer. But I wanted to show you how it looks like after I breaded it. So I just breaded it and it, crisp, it crisp, it crisped it up very nicely. So it browned nice, but you just want to be careful. You don't want to burn it. So. That's how it looks, and I can tell if they're done when I cut into it. And they're looking no pink on the inside. 
It looks white. And it smells delicious. <laughs> so now that I've been cooking it for about 15 minutes or so in the spaghetti sauce, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the mozzarella cheese. So I what I did want to show you how it looked because in a second I'm going to cover it and it's going to be all cheesy and saucy. So I wanted to show you how the breading looks. So I'm going to layer it. You don't have to do every piece, but just so it, you have a nice cover. And, then, oh, and I also wanted to mention I cook it uncovered. You don't want to cover it. So, because I do have a cover to this, but I'm not using it. So you just want to layer it. Oh, and I'm probably going to add more sauce. This recipe is all just basically about what you like, what your taste is. We like it a little more saucy, so I'm going to use almost two of these spaghetti sauce jars. And I'm reading them, they're 24 ounces each, so I have the big one. And then I bought, I think it was a tenth of the slices of the mozzarella cheese. So you just want to make sure that you cover all of it and, ooh, and it just popped it. <laughs> you want to make sure that it doesn't stick. And I'm also making breadsticks with this. And a salad would also go nicely. But I just bought them in the freezer section. I didn't make them my, myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish covering the chicken. So and you're going to want to let it cook a little more. And because we like it a little more saucier, I'm going to add, I added the first jar after they were browned and then it was simmered in the sauce. Now I'm going to add probably not the whole jar, but just enough to cover it. And you just want to make sure the mozzarella cheese melts and it looks really nice. So I'm going to let it cook a little more and I'll take one out so you can see what it looks like. <laughs> I'm going to turn it down and I think my my sauce actually my cheese melted <laughs> there we go <laughs> so I'm just trying to do this quickly for the video just so you get the idea so when you cut into them they're nice they're no pink in the middle and you, if you don't want a lot of cheese on it, you don't have to. As you can see, some of the pieces have cheese and some don't. It all depends on what you like. But you do want to make sure you move them around. You don't want them sticking and then it would burn. So I think I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to finish letting it cook a little, make sure it's done. But there you have it, quick, easy, and delicious. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know how you enjoyed making it and eating it. We'll see you again next time. Bye.